it's the skin that protects our body from the outside world. And skin is also an extraordinary model system to study tissue stem cells, tissue maintenance and cancer initiation. And that's what our research is about. Maria Kasper and her international group of eight researchers have a lot to discuss. Their weekly Friday meetings here at Karolinska Institute in Stockholm provide opportunities for them to show and discuss compelling new results. One of the major interests which I have due to my background also from my family side, so we had a quite large history in cancer outcome and I got very early interested in um, cancer and why people do get cancer and which kind of cancer and how cancer forms. So one important aspect is to understand how the tissue will look like during health in order to understand the very first steps. What does go wrong in a cell to turn into a cancer cell? So what we are studying in my lab is the epidermis of the skin and the epidermis or we study the keratinocytes, is a certain cell type, and three different compartments in the skin are made by these keratinocytes. This is the epidermis, then the hair follicle, and the sebaceous gland. To understand how skin develops, the scientists use a confetti mouse model, where they mark the stem cells in different colors and follow their daughter cells. The findings, so far, suggest that in healthy skin, the stem cells just maintain locally restricted parts of an organ. But during an emergency situation, such as if the skin suffers a wound, stem cells leave their natural environment and jointly repair the injury. But sometimes this repair work fails, which can then lead to cancer growth. We use the same mutations which cause uh, basal cell carcinoma in humans. Uh, we use the very same mutation and transfer it to the mouse and put these mutations into our mouse cells or mouse model. And what you can see here is, here are mutated cells which are indicated by this blue color, but they do not grow into a cancer yet. Here also mutated cells with the very same mutation and in these areas one can see here is a hot spot which allows these cells to grow much faster into a cancer. It seems that the microenvironment is very important. With microenvironment we mean when a cell gets a cancer initiating mutation this is very often not enough, so it needs some other factors to fuel this cell in order to really grow into a cancer. And what is that factor? Yeah, this is what we would like to know. <laughs> That's why we're doing this research. One possible explanation for the heart spots is that some neighboring cells favor the cancer growth. There are many other cell types in the skin, nerve cells, fat cells, or blood vessels, which might contribute to the cancer. Also, areas with wounds or sunburn seem to increase the risk of cancer growth, but only if there already exist several mutations in the skin. So I would think, with the knowledge we have right now in my group, and with all the technology we have at place, that we are really hitting the forefront edge in skin research.